Can you say and spell your name for me, please? My name is Tony Tenney, T O N Y T E W N E Y. All councils think they're special and unique, and they are. But Pittwater is the only one in a hundred years that actually seceded from a neighbouring council, and that was a huge community effort. And that people are absolutely disgusted at the non undemocratic method that we've been subjected to. And, for example, instead of now having nine councils, councillors in our council area, we'll have three out of 15. So that's a reduction in representation. It's not democratic. It was imposed on us. And people Repeat are... That point, if that's right, just in terms of the, uh, the councillors. Shall we talk about that again? Yeah, let's get me... Uh, the whole process of Pittwater has been undemocratically imposed on us and the representation that we have, which we cherish, has been much diluted. We've gone from nine councillors representing Pittwater to now three out of 15 in the amalgamated council. So naturally our influence and our contact with councillors will be much reduced as it is, as we're finding. Pittwater was the only council in a hundred years to be reformed by secession. This was after a long community uh, fight and we formed our own council in 1992. And, with, and it's been ever, very successful ever since financially and in environmental and sustainability terms, contact with council uh, councillors and now it's just disappeared overnight. The main reason Pittwater is not fighting amalgamation in court alongside councils such as Wallara and Hunters Hill is that it was betrayed by a cabal comprised of a then mayor, general manager and parliamentary representative who were, likely as not, serving the vested interests of groups such as the Property Council of Australia and the Urban Task Force.